Premiere interface is made up of several main areas. These areas themselves have tabs which give us access to further areas. What this means is the workspace you're working with won't display all of the information all the time, just the key important things you need to do the activity that you're currently doing, whether that is an initial edit or adjusting effects or editing the sound. Now an important thing to do to make sure that your workspace is the same as mine is when you first start your window up, if it looks different to this, go to the window drop down menu, select workspace, ensure editing is selected, then choose reset current workspace. We're going to click yes and our workspace will return to the factory default settings. The key areas of our project, oh, the key areas of the Premiere interface are the project panel. The project panel is where all content that we import into our projects will be found. It's where we can organize all of our individual video clips, sound files and still images. It's where we can organize them into bins and create new sequences. Above that, we have the preview panel. Now this panel allows us to play back any video clips or view any still images or listen to any sound files that are within our project panel. It allows us to select portions of that footage or material and view it before we add it to our edit. Down here we have the timeline. The timeline houses the sequences that make up your project. A sequence is a selection of clips placed in a specific order by you yourself. We place our clips within the timeline upon tracks. There are video tracks and audio tracks. Video tracks are for imagery, so that is video clips and still images, and the audio tracks are for sound files. The video tracks are hierarchical, so they work like layers in Photoshop. You can have multiple tracks and clips placed on higher tracks will obscure clips placed on lower tracks. Audio tracks work differently in that all are played back equally. Now up here on the right hand side we have the program monitor. The program monitor is where we can view back our edit. The program monitor displays the current position of the playhead. Now the playhead when we press the play button across our timeline where it currently sits will be displayed in the program monitor. Then we have the toolbar. The toolbar gives us access to various tools that allow us to edit within the timeline itself. And lastly we have the levels panel. The levels panel won't respond to any clicking, it is merely a reference for how loud the audio is at any given point. 